Sorry about my long absence. I was searching for my father in the barren wastelands of North America. Bethesda's Fallout 3 is a great game, even though I did have somewhat of a love-hate relationship with it. You play as the Lone Wanderer, a young man or woman who was brought up in Vault 101, an underground bunker in an alternate history post-apocalypse. When your kind father James abruptly leaves the vault, you must venture out into the capital wasteland to find him. Along the way, you encounter bandits, rustic settlements, mutant creatures, and the ruins of the pre-war civilization, and are soon involved in a bold plan to restore life and clean water to the wasteland. One thing that I find intriguing about Fallout 3 is that it depicts a future world all but destroyed by nuclear war, but a future world relative to the 1950s. This means that some of the culture and fashion, and especially the music, are retained from this period in recent history. Therefore, the game has a charming anachronistic feel of old and new at the same time. Fallout 3 essentially depicts the result of the Cold War at its height escalating further and triggering mutually assured destruction. The first thing I noticed while playing Fallout 3 is its amazing voice cast. Liam Neeson plays James, Ron Perlman is the narrator at the beginning and end, Odette Eusman voices the Wanderer's childhood friend Amata, and, most surprisingly, President John Henry Eden, whose radio broadcasts can be heard throughout the wasteland, is voiced by none other than Malcolm freaking McDowell. All of these big-name Hollywood actors deliver excellent performances, especially the smooth, warm Neeson and the charismatic McDowell, and you wonder how Bethesda hired them all. The good qualities of Fallout 3 are numerous and terrific. The game is crammed full of interesting characters, realistic dialogue, compelling quests, and atmospheric, bleak, yet majestic locations. The controls are simple and fluid, and the upgrade system is very intuitive and easy to use. As a good RPG, Fallout 3 allows you to craft your character in any way you want, and actually understand the effect and significance of what you're upgrading. I chose to make my character a soldier using guns and melee weapons, but also skilled in speeches and diplomacy, as is my style, but if you want to be a sneaky thief who picks locks and hacks computers to get ahead, or a grunt who uses heavy bazookas and energy weapons, those paths are all equally valid in achieving your objectives and winning the game. The combat is brutal and visceral, and I really enjoy the game's VATS aiming system. I was initially skeptical about the idea of combining turn-based and real-time combat, but VATS, which pauses the action and shows you the probability of hitting a head, body or limb, and the damage a successful hit will inflict, is a very cool method for making the combat more efficient, but no less awesome. The game world is enormous, and there are so many things to do and explore that finding them all in one playthrough could take 30 to 50 hours. Fallout 3 shares engrossing qualities of involvement and resonance with KOTOR, another RPG that I thoroughly enjoyed recently. The towns of Megaton, Rivet City, Arufu, and other settlements stand out as little pockets of life in a harsh, blighted landscape and you want to help them survive and make their lives better out of a sense of concern and compassion. As with KOTOR, I felt quite proud of myself after fixing the pipes and disarming the nuclear bomb in Megaton, saving the town and its sheriff from the nefarious Mr. Burke, striking a deal with the vampires to stop preying on Arafu, finding little orphan Brian a home, rescuing trapped soldiers and captive civilians, and a myriad of other helpful tasks. This feeling of pride is a testament to how emotionally engaging the game is and how deep and fleshed out the characters are. Being a post-apocalyptic game, Fallout 3 depicts a future world that we've seen in plenty of movies and literature before it, and also feels like a hell we've narrowly avoided several times during the tensions of the Cold War, but the game is relatable on another level. Water. Water is essential for life, but if you just step into a pond or river in the capital wasteland, your Geiger counter crackles like crazy. Drinking water heals you, but unless it's purified, which it rarely is, it will raise your radiation level and make you sick. 
Your final goal is to help your father activate the purifier and cleanse the water in the Potomac River, thereby providing clean water for everyone in the wasteland. It's fascinating how something as elementary as water can go a long way in giving your actions weight and purpose. Despite all this praise, I would say that Fallout 3 is a great but far from perfect game. The game has several little and not so little problems that lowered my enjoyment. For starters, the karma system feels redundant. In KOTOR, light and dark side points make sense because the Jedi and Sith have moral philosophies behind them, meaning that you are able to justify the decisions you make even if you take the dark Sith path. But in Fallout 3, the morality is far more black and white. You could steal, pickpocket, and murder innocents to get more supplies and weapons, or you could eat dead bodies to regain health, but I didn't much, because I prefer to play as a good person, and these actions naturally give you bad karma. If the game has actions that the developers decided are unambiguously bad, then what's the point of the game telling you that? There were certain mini-games that I never bothered with because I couldn't understand them. I must be missing the trick for lockpicking, as it seems stiff and needlessly finicky, and I could never make any sense out of hacking, which is just a convoluted jumble of words that you have to sort through to find the correct one. The Pipe Dream style hacking minigame in Bioshock may be incongruent, but at least it makes sense and is easy to learn. Fallout 3 is also incredibly hard to navigate. Some locations, such as the Galaxy News Radio Plaza and the Museum of History, are impossible to reach due to rubble and obstacles without exploring subway tunnels, and I became lost several times even with my Pip-Boy's map. I also gradually became tired of being repeatedly sidelined by side quests that distracted me from my main objective. I believe Yahtzee calls it faffing about. Finally, the graphics, believe it or not, were the game's biggest stumbling point, at least on my computer. For the most part, the visuals in Fallout 3 are spectacular. The objects and textures are extremely detailed, the lighting and environmental effects are superb, and, while far less expressive than those in Half-Life 2, the character models aren't as rigid and wooden as many critics claimed. But, and I hope this statement makes sense, while the game world feels big, the draw distance is bafflingly short. Big buildings, terrain, and landmarks are visible but really lack definition at long distances, and objects and smaller buildings will often just pop into existence as you get closer. The most memorable examples of this were lamp posts suspended in mid-air without bases. This short draw distance, only about 10 to 20 meters, I'm estimating, actually interferes with combat, as fights in open areas can pit you against ranged enemies, such as raiders, mercenaries, and super mutants, that are literally invisible until you move in. Enemies do show up as red icons on the compass in your heads-up display, and you can use VATS to zoom in on targets that are too far away to be visible, but you shouldn't have to use this feature to see something directly in front of you. Notable frustrations, including a short draw distance, some obtuse minigames, slightly disorienting level design, and a morality system that lacks impact aside, Fallout 3 is an excellent game. It has an incredibly compelling plot that engages you on a survivalist and emotional level, a vast, immersive world with almost limitless activities, deep, well-written characters who you grow attached to throughout the game, an intuitive upgrade system, smooth gameplay, exciting combat, and gorgeous visual design. Fallout 3 earns 4 stars out of 5. Thanks for watching. Cheers.